Trying hard not to fall On the way home You were trying to wear me down Down Kissing up on fences and other walls On the way home I guess it's all working out Now Cause there's still Too long to the weekend Too long till I draw in your hands Too long since I've been a fool sharing what they have been through and um, the best advice that I've got is to really accept yourself for who you are. Love it, feel it, and be proud. Yourself or you're not feeling so good about yourself and you always just go back to that and remind yourself how precious you are and how amazing it is love yourself. So, yun lang. Maraming maraming salamat. And thank you so much to our partners. Woo! We're a new Avenger. Here I was. Every time I would teach, I'd be like, oh my God, can my mom believe me? Because my tongue is jiggling. I love the fitness. I love the blah, blah, blah. I love the master instructor. So, they go to the thing of right now or whatever. But after each class, you see all these women coming up to me and saying thank you. Oh my God, you're such an inspiration. And I'm like, so what am I thinking like this? And it was always the first step. And I had to accept that the body, and guys, this is a fact, the body will transform every year. You can't expect to have abs in three months. And then I accepted that, and then, then the metal, yeah. I have to do the same things that my cisgender years to do. Um, because there's no other choice. And then I realized the love that I have for myself. I just need to love myself for me to be able to do the things that I love also. I wasn't happy enough to stay in the relationship even if he was the only man in the world who would love me back. So, yeah. So, I had to get out of that relationship and love myself for who I am. And eventually, someone will love me for who I am. When you're working on finding a relationship, you will always attract a mirror. And your current relationship will evolve based on how polished your mirror is. But there is absolutely, absolutely nothing wrong with you. And, I, and the best way to do that is your I am affirmations that Lisa taught you earlier. Right? I agree. <laughs> um, will ultimately just make you a better person and hopefully a better human being. When I came up with the name of my blog, um, The Fat Kid Inside, a lot of people thought it was funny and catchy, and really in reality it's because I really just felt fat inside. Until this day, you'll see me in videos and stuff pulling down my shirt and everything it's because I think people can see my stomach. Um, even though that's mostly gone, I still feel like it's there. Um, to begin with, I accept myself. Ito yung may advice ko sa mga magkakaroon ng future during the year school. Tell them to enjoy the sun, tell them to run and run, sa sakit, ang nga yung isa na nga yung nakikita nga, may puto ka pala because it's not fun. You tell your children to um, not to divert themselves into technology, social media, So, I would tell her that whatever it is you might be feeling is not right, whether it causes you pain, whether it causes you some personal injuries, it's okay. Accept that. Acknowledge that it doesn't make you feel right. Because when you grow up, you might be able to do something about it. So that other women won't have to go through what you want to see. So I love this quote that said, don't let it make you bitter, let it make you better. And I know it's kind of like a fun, but it's something that has guided me through 
experience so we'll go home to a doctor. So they brought me to talk to a doctor, uh, to a psychiatrist for the first time. And then, long story short, I was diagnosed with depression. But then I was like, I'm young, like I don't know what depression was like. But the case in point, I had so many, so much trauma in my childhood that resurfaced during college without even me realizing it. But my emotions kind of triggered my body and then it was just meant to explode and burst out. Um, we often learn these things when it is an extreme, like for you in college or if you go through a breakup or if you go through some sort of trauma or you know something big, ha big happens in your life, that's when you read all the signals. When you feel your chest hanging in or when you lose your appetite, you go, oh, that's connected. And I think also on that, we have to learn how to read our body when um, our emotions are positive as well. And supporting and celebrating the self-expression. So having the door open and welcoming the 20-year-olds, the grandmoms, the big, the small, the light, the dark, I think the diversity that all of us here represent, that's what I would say is that's what the beauty stands for. It's the diversity that all of them represent. More than the physical attributes of one, one person, I think it's how you see yourself, how you carry yourself. I think that's what real beauty is for me. Because I realize that beauty really is fully a means of realizing every aspect of yourself. Now, what does that mean? It means that looking great is just one thing about yourself. You can be fantastic in other things, and you can pursue all the things that you're passionate about. And that's what really gives you the beauty and gives you that attitude, a good attitude towards life and towards, um, towards everything that you care about. I met people, we're in the industry to look a certain way, but we're some of the most insecure people, or we have a lot of insecurities. So we have this dilemma where every day women and men are reaching for something to say and think that if I just look like that, I would be happy. I'd never, I'd never question my body. I'd never feel insecure, but it's not true. So we're kind of running after something that we can't attain.